वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टुडे कोर्स जावा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू प्रिवेंट इनर रिटर्न्स फ्रॉम पर्टिकुलर जावा क्लास ओके लेट मी क्रिएट वन क्लास ए एंड आई एल गोइंग टू क्रिएट अनदर क्लास बी इफ यू यूज एक्सटेंड कीवर्ड एक्सटेंड ए व्हाट विल हैपन दिस बी क्लास एक्ट एज अ चाइल्ड क्लास ऑफ क्लास ए आई डोंट वांट टू create any child class for class a how to do that this is my question how to do that answer is very very simple we have to use final keyword we have to use final keyword that is we need to create that class as a final class using final class final keyword we can create a final class if we create any class as a final class you cannot inherit that class you cannot inherit that class okay see here in the class b the class b is clearly saying cannot inherit from final a since a class is a final class you cannot inherit that that is the message it's saying here okay now we're going to see more use of final keyword uh, let me remove this let me remove this then i'll going to create one more method in a class a public void show this is from class a here i'm using a function overriding here i'm using a function overriding that is class a also having a show method class b also having a show method that meaning i'm overriding class a show method in class b okay this is called as a function overriding now i want to create a object of class b b obj equal to new b when i call obj dot show what will happen obj is a object of class b when i call show method from this obj it will call show method from b class only it never call show method from a call a method because we are overriding here that's the reason it's calling it's calling from b class okay now when i comment out this particular method what will happen still here i am creating an object of class b then i am calling object name dot show now this time this will call from class a because class a is a parent class of b that's the reason it's calling this show method now this concept is called as a dynamic polymorphism okay so now this time this calling from class a in some situation i don't want to override i don't want to override methods which is available in the class a i don't want to override a method which is implemented in the class a that is which is implemented in the parent class in our case a is a parent class okay i don't want to override this show method in its child class for that we need to say simply final in in parent class we need to say final that's it if you say final what will happen it's give compile time error show cannot override show cannot override because it is a final method because it is a final method so we have to keep different name only option is we have to keep different name since the show method is a final method we are not able to override that method in its child class that's the reason i am changing the name this time when i call this show method what will happen it will directly call call from a class from the a class because we don't have a show method in a b class if you want to call print method we need to call separately so so far we learned that using final keyword we can prevent inheritance we can prevent overriding a method from a parent class okay next example is i want to use variable as a final variable final int a equal to 30 
final int a equal to 30. Let me try to change this value here. Here also we are getting compilation error. Cannot assign a value to final variable. If you declare any variable as a final variable, you cannot change that variable. At the time of declaration, you need to give some value to that final variable. You, after that, you cannot change that variable value. That final variable act as a constant variable. Okay. Once you assign the value, you cannot change it. That is the purpose of final keyword if you use in variable level. Okay. If you use final keyword in variable level, you cannot change the value of the variable. If you use final keyword in method level, you cannot overwrite that particular method. If you use final keyword in class level, you cannot inherit the particular class. This is the usage of final keyword. Okay. These are most frequently questioned in the core Java interviews. Okay. If you like this video, please share it to your friend circle. In the next video session, I will come up with uh, some interesting uh, core Java interview question. Until then, bye bye from Suresh.